I will be exposing myself in this video very much as we go over my YouTube analytics for the lifetime of my channel for the purpose of discovering what that means potentially for where we're kind of at in this current crypto market um, cycle, specifically with regards to Bitcoin as that has been the focus of this channel. Now intuitively you can understand the perhaps importance of looking at YouTube analytics for a channel like this um, because you know YouTube analytics or, or just YouTube views more or less represent the general interest of an asset. When do people start looking for you know price videos when they're more interested in what price is doing which is typically uh or, or usually about things going up right because people are typically biased towards this asset class going to the moon and beyond as that's what's going to make everyone rich for investing you know 100 bucks and now making hundreds of millions right anyways um <laughs> you can actually see right here that if we go over the full history of my channel which basically started in about march of 2018 so you can see that everything was basically zero until about that time then the a slight uptick, a very slight uptick um, around that date. Um, you know, the views of this channel have actually correlated generally well um, with, you know, cycles. And you can see that uh, as this channel got going in the 2019 cycle, which was kind of the beginning of the next, um, you know, Bitcoin mark cycle, if I can actually bring you over here to the chart, that would be if I go to this time frame, go all the way back on over here, that would be right around this area where Bitcoin was uh, putting in the lows for the prior cycle and then working its way out of there you can see that there's a humongous rally to follow and what do you know on my channel views uh, there was a tremendous rally as well and right when price hit that high in about you know july august area uh, let me just double check yeah july was the high right here you can see that the views started to go south you know started to go south 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 all the way until august of 2020 when they started to tick back up again and reaching uh, the current all-time highs on this channel which was was obviously in the 2021 cycle in fact pretty much to the day uh, as you can see right if i can actually highlight it the actual high of this channel was basically uh november 22nd i believe which on the charts which is a little more obvious uh was of course right within this region right here so of course you know the the intuitive understanding makes sense people more interested when things typically go up and when things typically go down or especially when things go sideways that interest wanes and well people are no longer looking at you know go, going on youtube and looking up hey is my derp coin gonna make me rich today or not um and and so, you know, we see the same thing right here from that cycle, um, you know, views have generally trended pretty much all the way to the downside until about September of 2023, which is where uh, Bitcoin turned around or not necessarily where it turned around from the last cycle. That was to, uh, actually here at the very end of 2022. But that was when this last rally really got started, which was right here in September. So, you know, what can we deduce from this? Well, We've seen thus far a few cycles, and we see that views generally trend up when that cycle is also trending up as well and reach you know that sort of climax uh, around the cycle high. In fact, very, very close to it. Now, you will notice that there is a spike right here in, uh, this was the 5th of August. That was uh, an extreme downside day. Um, in fact, I, I don't really understand why I got so many views on that day. Uh, I mean, obviously, like a downside day does get people's interest, of course, but you can see now something that we have not seen in actually a very long time we're actually seeing some higher lows here we're actually seeing some higher lows between what we saw in 2023 beginning of 2023 when bitcoin actually put in its lows and what seems to be the next higher low over here which is the summer of this year 2024 so that to me does uh start to signal that hey this cycle actually is still is still going and if i'm going to make a sort of uh you know a bit of a projection here to be fair um so 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 do understand that i'm making an assumption um you know, if we expect these things to correlate, which they have, and I believe, at least for my other YouTuber friends, uh, it does generally correlate quite well, then I would be expecting, you know, new all-time highs on views alongside new all-time highs on price and not really for the cycle to end until that happens. Again, this is an assumption here. You can draw whatever assumption that you want for yourself, but it has worked quite well in the past, albeit not that many iterations. However, over, you know, many years, about six years now. So, um, you know, let's put things into perspective here. When the channel went, uh, when this channel saw its last all time high in views, which again was basically the 2021 um, ultimate high for Bitcoin, 
The channel itself had around about 100,000 subscribers. As of this day, there is nearly double that number, uh, 194, 594. 194 and 594 okay i don't i don't know why but that number just seems <laughs> wrong to me it's it, it really seems crazy to me you have to understand like i'll go off on a little bit of a tangent here but you have to understand that this channel really you know started on a complete whim and was never intended to get like big at all it was intended like i was making videos for uh people on this forum <laughs> who were interested in crypto it was actually people on a bodybuilding forum <laughs> bodybuilding misc who were interested in cryptocurrency um and i got tired of typing shit out because it was taking too fucking long and so i started to make videos because it was easier and then things just kind of picked up from there actually um but anyways uh with the subscriber count now literally double what it was in the last cycle high and the views like well below the uh, uh, the I, I wouldn't say average, but just like the midpoint of um, you know of that last cycle, it does make me think that um, perhaps we're you know we are I, we are certainly more mature in this cycle, like past the halfway point. That that much is clear, but. Uh, it probably does have more to go, unless if this uh, you know sector really is dying and like no one gives a fuck about it anymore, and it's that's possible, right? Again, this is where I'd say, hey, make your own deductions on this. Um, so yeah, uh, that to me was just rather interesting. Um, I want to continue to I, I've, I've done these videos in the past, and I want to continue to do them because I think that they uh, provide a unique insight. Um, so uh so yeah you know let me know if you like this type of content i'm sure uh, it's like oh my god estimated revenue four hundred twelve thousand. he's just using youtube it's like <laughs> this is over six years which actually does add up to a decent amount per year but uh this channel really didn't even make any money until like 2022 um but anyways that that's another topic for another video uh youtube I, I used to always say like if i if i had to rely on youtube i'd be broke as fuck um now it's like okay i guess it could work a little bit <laughs> it's it's you know it's not too bad i don't want to be uh dis um no disrespectful no uh unappreciative uh, you know of those numbers of course you know that is uh rather nice um or at least a nice you know extra um you know extra uh extra guess i guess anyways um over here to bitcoin just to do quickly a bitcoin analysis um this video is being recorded actually on tuesday so this is being going to be released uh, a day ahead or sorry a, a day later on wednesday um so you're already going to have this information once this happens but on the daily right here if bitcoin really is going to dig in its heels and actually put in what would be the next higher low and and reverse itself and kind of climb its way out of this um current correction we'd really expect bitcoin to kind of dig in its heels right here right around that median which is officially coming in around 50 58,250 which is pretty much exactly where price action is currently trading it's like technically about 100 bucks higher than that um but uh but we would expect bitcoin to kind of hold above there bitcoin does start to close below there i would be expecting this one to come down um probably closer to 56,300 some, somewhere around there give or take a little bit of uh, a little bit and if you see closures around there then perhaps even a retest of the september lows um but ultimately you know my thoughts on this market are actually very much uh within the day prior's video which i actually recorded today as well um which is you know i i think that the secret right now is to be looking at traditional markets uh traditional markets continue to basically make new ultimates yes it has not made it just yet yes there is probably going to be a short-term correction um i'm not talking about that i'm talking about very very high term time frames here and you know with the way that things are set up, you have hidden bullish divergence on the weekly. You have weekly stochastic loss sort of getting back in the critical zone, which you know for the last six years or seven years have been a really really powerful signal for making new highs every time. Um, it does make it more difficult for me to be uh, like full on bearish for Bitcoin. Um, in fact, even just going to Bitcoin, um, you know, still still hanging in here. So it does make you think, um, but in the past, traditionally speaking, you know, if traditional markets, <laughs> it's, it's a bad pun now, now that I recognize it, but traditional markets, um, you know, if, if they're going to make, be making new ultimates, is it wise to be bearish on other, you know, riskier assets that are less strong? I mean, not usually, not until this thing like truly turns around and look, as long as spy futures are above, you know, your September lows, there's not really a threat here of like a real reversal, just short term corrections. Um, so to me, this is a setup for moving its way higher into October, which has traditionally been, uh, you know, a, 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 a nice seasonal month um, and uh, especially for Bitcoin as well. So, you know, I still think that Bitcoin's kind of in survival mode here until the end of the month or you know, until like 
the, at least the end of this week. Um, the quad witching date is going to be that big focus there. But um, you know, from there, if Bitcoin kind of you know dig in its heels and, and hold itself in, it does look like this could be an opportunity. Um, of course, the big one for me on the monthly would be closing back above that red five exponential moving average. If Bitcoin could do that this month, that would be very very obvious. Um, you know, it did already play out about a uh, about a 15 to 20 percent correction from there um when it broke it back in august let me actually just double check on that one uh sorry i want to actually get it from where that moving average is so it would be about 20 percent um which is bang on the average for those corrections that we have seen when it does close or sorry when it does trade below so you know putting two and two together uh it would if 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 you want bitcoin to be bullish or if you expect bitcoin to be bullish we do expect bitcoin to kind of hold within this region right here and kind of survive until the end of this month and then follow traditional markets and if youtube analytics or anything to be going off of which maybe they are maybe they aren't um it would suggest that yes we are likely past the turning point of or sorry likely past the midpoint of this cycle um but we have unlikely seen the highs just yet um, so we'll see how that holds through. Um, you know, this is of course like very experimental, uh, data right there. And I suppose that's a good place for me to be leaving off on this video. So, um, I'll be cutting off there as always. I want to wish you the best, best take care, much love and see you hopefully tomorrow because this video is going to be released on Wednesday, which is actually my fight day. And I will be, uh, shooting out some, some live stream for that should be actually on BitBoy's channel or, uh, whatever his new channel is called. I believe it does. He still go by BitBoy. I don't know. I met him the other night. He's actually a really nice guy. <laughs> anyways, anyways, I'll, uh, I'll show the video off on that note. As always, wish you the best, best take care, much love and see you hopefully tomorrow.